Um, we've been asked a few questions about our ceramic coating, so what we thought we'd do is um, start with our Optivate uh, ceramic coating for paint, go through a few questions and um, get some explanations out there for what it is, how it works and, and what it does. So Optivate is a ceramic coating designed for the paintwork of your vehicle. So the benefits of the coating are, firstly, it's very easy to apply. Um, secondly, it's only a one coat application, so you don't need multiple coats. It's not a, a two stage coat or anything like that. It's just a simple apply as is uh, one coat. Uh, thirdly, it's a non-flammable. So we use non-flammable solvents in the coating. Uh, two reasons, firstly, because we ship on a global scale, it makes the, the shipping process a lot easier. But secondly, and probably more importantly, is the non-flammable solvent allows a lot more working time with the product. So when you apply it to the surface, rather than it flashing off exceptionally quickly, and meaning you have to either reapply it uh, before you do the buffing stage, or you have to buff instantly, um, we're, we're giving you a lot more working time. So you're probably talking two to three minutes before you need to start buffing off. Um, and that does mean it allows you to do a whole panel at a time. You don't have to do little sections. You can get round a whole panel at a time before moving on to, to the next panel. Um, another benefit is it's actually made by us here in the UK. So we don't import it. We gather the, the raw materials together. It's, it's our formulation. Um, we, we supply or have the raw materials supplied to us and then we, we, we mix and blend to create the, the finished article. And then finally, the durability. Um, so we, we expect to see around about three years from one coat of this. Um, we have certain distribu distributors who use the product who are seeing up to sort of 100,000 kilometers. Now durability is dependent on how well you look after the coating. Um, if you really don't treat it very well, then it's not gonna last as long. But if you look after the coating, like you would your, your paintwork on your car, then you will get sort of up to three years and around about 100,000 kilometers from the coating. Uh, now we just wanna talk a little bit about the science of the coating. Um, there's lots of stuff out there showing product beading and things like that, but what we want to sort of delve into is is why does it do what it does, how does it work, how does it bond, things like that. First, we'll talk a bit about the bonding side of things. Um, so basically, when the product's applied to the, the surface, as it's um, curing on the surface, it creates what's called a covalent bond. Um, in simple terms, a covalent bond is um, a, chemical a chemical bond um, that involves the sharing of electrons, pairs between atoms. Um, so yeah, the, the coating, when it's cured, it creates a covalent bond with the surface. Now that leads us on to something that's called bond dissociation energy. In order to remove the, the coating from the surface, and this is how we know we can get the durability that we can get from it, in order to remove the coating from the surface, you need something that's got a stronger bond dissociation energy than the bond between the coating and the surface. So the, 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 the bond dissociation energy that we have is exceptionally high with the coating, which is why it takes something quite harsh, like a, an abrasive pad, an abrasive machine, things like that, to actually remove the coating. So things like general washing, atmospheric pollution, things like that, they are not gonna cause the coating to come off the vehicle. That, that, that coating will stay on the vehicle surface and it will carry, carry on doing its job. Right, so we're just gonna talk a bit about the beading side of things. Obviously it's quite a hot topic in, in the industry as such. Um, everyone wants to see how well a coating beads and in a way that's kind of dictating whether it's a good coating or not. Um, so why does, why does water bead on the surface? Well, water will bead on a surface when cohesive forces come into play. Now what that means is that the, the water molecules, they would rather bond to themselves than they would the surface. Uh, why does it do that? So the only reason it would do that is because the surface or the coating in this case it's being applied to will have a lower surface energy than um, the surface tension of the water. So water sits at, uh, this is at room temperature, will sit at 72 newtons per meter as surface tension. So a coating surface energy, anything lower than that, you'll start to get beads forming. And obviously the more you come down, the, the better the beads become. Uh, a hydrophilic coating on the other hand, so different to what, to what Optivate is, that's the complete opposite. So you'd have um, adhesive forces come into play, which basically means that the liquid being applied to the surface would rather adhere to the surface than it would itself. And that's where you get the hydrophilic effect. But right, so why is this important? So basically, if you've uh, got a coating that's showing good beading, it doesn't mean to say it's doing its job in repelling um, oily-based or grease-based um, contaminants. So uh, if we go back to the water molecule having the 72 newtons per meter surface tension, and you're applying that to a coating that's got, say, 
40 newton meters, newtons per meter with its surface energy, the beads are going to look really good. However, oily substances tend to be quite low on their surface tension. So somewhere, I don't know, olive oil as an example is around about 32 um, newtons per meter. But so if you go anywhere between sort of 32 and 36 as an example, generally tends to be where the oily based substances sit. So your, your coating with its um, surface energy of 40 newtons per meter, that is not going to repel these oil-based oil contaminants. Now with our coating, what we've done is we've made sure that the surface energy in, a, in its cured form on the surface um, sits at somewhere between 27 and 28 newtons per meter. So that means even your oil-based substances, they will not be bonding to our coating. They will sit on top, obviously, um, but what that means is we're not breaking down the coating with these contaminants. We're making cleaning much easier and it means that the surface stays looking cleaner for longer. So yes, beading's good. Yes, obviously the industry loves to see the beads, but if we take a step back and look at the science behind it, is it necessarily meaning that the coating is able to repel all the contaminants that your vehicle might come into contact with, or is it purely for effect? So that's why for us, it's not all about the beading, it's about making sure that the surface energy of the coating is lower than the surface tensions of any of the sort of contaminants that's gonna come into contact with, meaning, as, as I've said, easier cleaning, staying cleaner for longer, and obviously doing the main job, which is to protect the paintwork that the coating's applied to.